I think redrawing or redesigning your work is a great way to continuously improve on um, various aspects of your art, um, whether it is the color palette, if it's the shading, or if it's the overall form of what you're trying to um, draw or design. For me personally, I've been looking into the idea of how to utilize redrawing or reworking um, my old work. I looked into other videos um, on YouTube and I see that a lot of people like to go back in time, five years, 10 years, and sometimes as short as one year to see their progress um, from what they made. But I wanted to do a little bit different in the sense of redrawing something that I did more recently. What can I do to improve? So it's a bit of um, not just redrawing, but a bit of self-critique. What do I like about this? What can I improve on it? What are the things that I need to learn? And do I need to pick up a book? Do I need to watch a video in order to improve? And um, this is a process I would like to incorporate in my work in general. And I've done it with a few pieces now. Um, and one of them that I would like to show how I improved or how I redesigned uh, the original piece that I created is for Mama Moo's Glee. Please keep watching for that process. Hi, Inspiring Creatives. I'm Cynthia James, and this is A Tale of K-Pop. On my channel, I tell the tale of how I gain inspiration from K-Pop music videos to create fashion style illustrations. I hope to inspire you. If you are interested in my channel or the work that I do, please subscribe. This time around, I'm taking a little bit of a different approach in the sense that not only am I showing you the process of how I came up with a design, but also a process of how I wanted to improve the look of my design. I have already posted um, some work that I'm already utilizing these these ideas and these aspects and, and pushing myself a little bit more in terms of realism. My style is definitely a bit more whimsical and I do think I will be designing or drawing more in a stylistic form, but I do want my work to uh, be proportionate and, and well-formed. And those are the types of things that I wanna push myself to learn and to grow in. Um, for this time around, I decided to do uh, Mama Moo's Glee. I really enjoyed the song and it was very interesting to hear that um, it was more of like an advertisement for glasses and which I like a lot because I actually wear glasses. So glasses are a big part of actually my identity. I don't wear glasses a lot um, for my YouTube videos because of the glare that's created and I'm not that tech savvy so I haven't figured out the best lighting and everything in order to continue to wear glasses but glasses are a big part of my wardrobe, whether it be to see regularly or to protect my eyes from the sun. But it's a big part of my wardrobe, uh, glasses as well as scarves. And uh, you will probably see me wearing different types of scarves moving forward. So overall, Mama Moo's Gleam was fun. I liked the whole vintage vibe that they had. It was a, a little bit of a 70s vibe going. And I chose many pictures and things like that around that area for a reference. I went about it very quickly, actually, because I was inspired, I enjoyed it, and I created something. And I actually liked it in the beginning, but I felt I could do better. And I let it sit for a few months, and then I decided to go back and redraw. So um, the process I will be showing you is about this redrawing and how I approached it. So redrawing in this sense is not just to see my progress, but it's also a bit of self-critique. So self-critique is very impart important as an artist. So when you self-critique, you want to be kind to yourself. You don't want to um, judge yourself as being bad or, or even super good, but in general, um, what are you looking at? Looking at it from an object objective standpoint. What would I like to see? For me, it's 
better proportions, better three-dimensional form. And those are the things I need to work on and look at. How do I achieve that? And then also part of self-critique is to ensure that there is improvement and, and not to fall back on, well, this is my style, but more in terms of, okay, why am I focusing on this or why am I not tackling this area even though I would like to see an improvement on it? Pick up a book or, or watch a video and, and things like that to, to help improve. I myself also utilize Skillshare a lot and um, I'm not sponsored, but I do enjoy um, the different courses they have there. I am an avid um, art book collector and I would love to share a lot of those art books with you on this channel. And um, I definitely have seen um, a big leap of an improvement actually when I decided to take the time to really pick apart what I didn't like about the piece and really look at it from an objective standpoint. What do I want to create? The original piece was not bad. The colors were nice. It was very stylized and it could have worked the way it, it did, but I wanted something different. So I would love for you to see my process in that and please keep watching for Mama Moo's Gleam and my redrawing of that. I like the concept of uh, Mama Moo's uh, Gleam being um, a music video ad for a glasses company. I personally wear glasses, I wear corrective lenses, and I wear a lot of sunglasses as well. Um, I like it as a part of my wardrobe, and in some way it's even a part of my identity. I prefer wearing glasses other than um, contacts, and so I'm always interested in seeing um, when um, um, idols or other people are wearing glasses and how it's utilized within um, their whole wardrobe or the fashion look that they're going for. I enjoy this music video. It definitely had an, a sleek uh, 70s style to it and I pulled out those traditional colors. I wanted to um, create something like um, an eyeglasses ad for my illustration and I was looking online for many different things and this um, ad from Kenzo uh, stood out to me the most. Um, I thought it was very fascinating and funny uh, having all these eyes all over the place and I wanted to maybe incorporate eyes in the background of my piece. Um, I also like this uh, screenshot I took of um, the four ladies from Mama Moo um, with um, these lines going across and I thought that might be something interested I can interesting I can incorporate into my final piece. Um, the color palette itself was really good. I was also happy to find a reference that had a bit of a 70s vibe and then some other images that help um, bring the overall mood together. For this piece, I did decide to um, do some thumbnail sketches. I did some very rough ones. And um, the initial, um, what I've been noticing a lot lately is I don't do many thumbnail sketches as much anymore. I do think it's valuable and I, I want to get myself to, to thumbnail out some of my ideas a little bit more. But I'm noticing that um, when I watch um, these K-pop music videos, I get inspired very quickly. I then um, go straight to creating a mood board. Um, Researching, of course, um, pulling out screenshots I like, creating a mood board and reference images, and then from there I have something in my head, and then I work it out in um, what a lot of times ends up being my final sketch. In this case, I did do um, thumbnail sketches, very similar. Um, I wanted um, the woman facing, very much like the reference photo, um, glasses, of course. And in these thumbnail sketches, I'm actually having glasses in the back, but I did change my mind to want to do uh, the eyes. I also um, did some high-level um, sketches on some of the designs that I saw um, in the music video. This definitely is um, very reminiscent of... Um, the chair or the wicker chair that um, Hawasa is sitting on. This is the final sketch that I came up with in the first version that I did. I definitely felt that it evoked a lot of that 70s vibe. I also liked the glasses that I had. Um, but I have to say, after once I started applying color and working through it, that essence of what I wanted in uh, that I had in the sketch was getting lost. I did like the colors, but um, I was missing a bit of what I was initially doing. And sometimes that can happen, and I notice that from my work. Sometimes my my um, final digital piece, or even sometimes um, when I'm still working on colored pencil, 
Um, it looks so much different or so far away from the essence of what I was trying to do with my sketch. Sometimes it's a good thing and it's better, but also sometimes it's not that good and it, it loses what I, I wanted to create from it. So my final piece was this for the first version that I did. I really enjoyed the background, the texture that came out, the line work that was happening in the eyes. Um, the type was okay. Um, I did like it and um, I was thinking about utilizing it again. And um, I liked the glasses, the color, but I was not happy with the face and the body. And I felt um, it is stylized, but I felt a lot of um, it was very flat. It was flatter than I wanted it to be. The color was fine. I liked the color in the shirt. And my initial um, sketch that I worked off on this one was in September, um, was September 22nd, 2019. And um, I, I liked it, but there was something about it. It was, I liked the colors and, and I actually wanted to post it, but something stopped me because I was, I knew I could do better and I wanted to bring more form in and I wanted to rework it. But I also, at the time, wasn't, um, I don't know if it wasn't motivation or what it was, but I had a hard time just getting right back into it. So it took a few months. Uh, well, not a few months. It took a, a month and a half. So my final sketch that I did for the second version was completed November 9th. So it took uh, a little bit more um, than a month in order for me to come back to it. And I'm glad that I did. So I started reworking the sketch I also um, started working on trying to work on proportions more and form and um, getting better at some of the things I was having difficulties with. And I do know the basic principles of drawing ahead. And I noticed with the original um, drawing and sketch that I was rushing. I definitely was rushing. I wasn't checking my proportions. I wasn't looking. And I guess I just wanted to get something out there. I just wanted to do something. And one thing that I've learned through this process is that patience is key. Patience is key in learning and patience is key in also let it sit and come back again and, and maybe rework it from there. And I'm I'm glad I did, and, and I'm learning through this process. I think it took the final illustration that I did, took maybe two or three hours for me to do, and I think the final um, illustration that I did with the newer version took me closer to six or seven hours, and um, I definitely see the difference, and now my work um, overall that I've been doing lately has been taken closer to six or seven hours um, from coloring. So um, this is not the sketch itself. So the sketch can take well, anywhere between three or four hours, uh, depending on how easy I, I'm working on it. I do still sketch uh, paper to pencil, and I probably will continue to do that for a while. And then um, moving from there, I go into um, coloring and blending and coloring and blending alone now takes up to seven hours. It does take time, but I, I see the difference when I take that time. So this was um, the sketch. It was it was uh, it turned out um, a lot better, um, but I felt I could do better or rework it or just look at it one more time. And then I um, also had this where you can see that I'm trying to work on proportions and um, fixing the nose because I do have issues with noses. And a lot what I notice is my alignment with eyes are always an issue. So if you look through my time lapses, I'm always trying to align my eyes. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I think a lot of it it might be that I draw sideways. I have a hard time drawing um, straight forward, but I've learned since a child to write sideways and writing and drawing straight up is very hard for me. It's actually painful. So um, when I show more of me actually drawing and actually sketching um, in the future, you'll see that I am probably not the best role model in terms of how to hold a pencil or how to sit and draw. <laughs> So from there, I had one more sketch, so I came back and redid it one more time. So the form is getting better. Um, it's getting um, a bit more realistic. I can see even from here that my eyes aren't aligned. Um, the lips are getting better, um, and I did want to incorporate the jacket that I didn't have before. Um, I really like that vibe um, and wanted to see how I could utilize that. And of course, these are just squigglies to let me know that this there will be a background. So the final piece here 
that I reworked is this. So it definitely has a better form. It has more of a three dimension. I don't draw a lot of pupils. Um, it's just a style that I like. Um, um, the hair is a bit more realistic as well. I did utilize the same exact uh, background because I enjoyed it. I fixed the type a bit. Um, it's still on the more messy side, but I, I like that. And I utilize the, the colors um, a lot um, better, I feel, as well. Um, the shirt is different than the uh, original. I do like the original shirt that I did. Um, and maybe I'll come back again and redo it one more time. Uh, I definitely, um, at this time, was also playing with how to blend the best um, in Procreate. Um, it was something that I was working on. So there was blending I was working on. There was also the form that I was working on. So there's many different things that I started practicing and just working through to see, okay, how does this work? If I add this color with this, um, how can I make the forms work? And one of the key things that I didn't like to do in the beginning, because it did show me that uh, the mistakes that I had was to flip the canvas. So now I make sure I flip the canvas um, every time that I draw and it helps so much. And flipping the canvas is only is a very similar to if you were to sketch on paper to holding it up um, to the mirror so that you can see if um, the face is proportionate and what's happening there. And uh, so from now on flipping the canvas is a part of my process and it is sometimes extremely shocking how disproportionate my work is but I'm actually happy to see it and sometimes um, I can see it much better and I'm noticing now with every drawing that I do that um, my fixing the proportions um, is um, smaller or it doesn't take as long as before um, so but I, I'm really excited for the direction that I'm going so this is the final version I did for Gleam Mama's Moo, and um, it is definitely the starting point of where my work is going now in the future. Um, it still has a bit of whimsy. Um, it has um, my uh, the the backgrounds that I like, the colors that I like, and it definitely is teaching me a new way to to draw and to look at images, especially proportions. <laughs>
enjoyed the video, I enjoyed making it. I feel I learned a lot through this process and I definitely want to utilize that moving forward. I have some ideas on some of the work that I have already created and even posted that I would like to redraw. And once I do so, I will definitely share that with you and see how I progressed and, and what I learned um, through that process. Um, are there any things you like to do or redo in terms of um, wanting to improve or just fix because you didn't like it so much? Please comment that below. Thank you so much for um, watching this video and thank you so much for the over 600 views on my 80s fan light video. I am an avid 18 and it was so much fun to design the light stick. And I definitely see myself designing some other things um, along the way too in this K-pop universe. So please subscribe and like and comment below. Und auf Wiedersehen.